the pandemic, like any other crisis, is, is severely affecting uh, the lives of women in many, many ways, uh, socially, economically, and even politically. It has intensified the already existing gender inequality that we have seen for many years. And in the context of the pandemic, women are largely uh, represented in the informal sector. When the economy was hit hard, uh, uh, the, the, infor the informal sector has been also affected in much bigger ways than we can imagine. Uh, women are not better off in the, in the formal sector as well. Why? Because uh, women are, again, largely uh, represented in the low skill, low paying uh, job category. We have seen that uh, the, the pandemic has provided an enabling environment for abuses. So due to this, uh, women uh, have been literally suffering from domestic violence, sexual violence, be it adult women or young women, they have been subjected to uh, different forms of violence at home within the community. Uh, we have seen the, the, the rise of child marriage. We have seen uh, also the rise of female genital mutilation, teenage pregnancy, uh, all affecting women's lives. What COVID ha has clearly shown us is that our policies are not uh, gender sensitive. It has shown us that we need strong accountability mechanisms. That means including the judiciary and other law enforcement mechanisms that are ready to respond to uh, a particular context. I know it's basic, but we should start from uh, awareness raising, awareness raising at family level, awareness raising at community level, and even putting in place the informal structures for, for monitoring. But of course, the primary uh, intervention should be to even prevent uh, the uh, gender-based violence before they occur. But in any case, if they occur, uh, we need to have the supportive systems in place. We need from reporting to sheltering, counseling, and medical uh, support as well. So we have seen good laws coming out. If we have seen very interesting initiatives in terms of implementing the laws, we have seen governments also being held accountable. And we can seize into that to, to hope for the future.